I want to remind everybody that we're live on YouTube today. Uh, before we get started, I'll ask everybody to stand and recite the Pledge of Allegiance with me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated, everyone. Well, good afternoon. I am Chief Chris Murtha, and I want to welcome everyone to the City of Wheat Ridge Police Department swearing-in ceremony for Recruit Class 2020-1. I have that right, correct? Okay. Um, as we attempt to do this in a socially distant way, I'll remove my mask because I think I'm far enough away, and as the uh, recruits come up here today, we'll ask them at some point to remove their masks so we can all see their faces. Um, before I get too far into this, I want to encourage anyone who's here to, to, uh, to go ahead and take pictures as you see fit. Um, this moment belongs to our new officers and their families as we welcome you to our family. Today we will, uh, I will offer a few words. We'll have the swearing in ceremony. I'll ask the officers to sit down and we will have friends and or family members pin the badges and uh, after that uh, you're invited to stay, but you're free to go. We will do the uh, pictures after that, and for those who've been around long enough know that that takes a, takes a minute to organize. So let me start by saying today is a momentous day in the lives of the, the five people before us today. Today, these individuals will swear the oath of office. That oath are the words we live by. They are the words that guide us, and they are the words that articulate our inner resolve. Before we spend too much time on our recruits, I want to thank the family and friends who are attending or watching today. Your help, guidance, and encouragement have allowed these individuals to be here today, to have the moral and ethical character to join our police department. Your assistance in life, your help during the academy, whether helping them organize themselves, perhaps as a training dummy, listening to their complaints, or simply through words of encouragement was more helpful than you can imagine. And as old as some of us are, I'm not the oldest one in this room, but we all remember those days. And I thank you for being there for these uh, young individuals today. Family and friends by default, and whether you know it or not, you are now part of our extended police family. You will look at the news differently. You will look at crime shows differently and you'll have opinions that you never knew you had when you realize the relevance to your loved ones and yourselves. Remember, they need you now more than ever as they begin this job in earnest. Those of you here before us today, as our future officers, I want to thank you for committing to undertake this career. You've been selected out of stacks and stacks of applications that we received. You have been thoroughly reviewed and investigated and entrusted to be entrusted in this profession. You have agreed to accept a greater share of responsibility for this world. You have agreed to take a job that is consequential in so many ways. You have agreed to live a life that is above reproach and full of integrity. You have committed to being a role model. You have committed to a life that revolves around public service. You are beginning to understand that this job is different. You will see things that very few people in this country will see. You will do things that very few people in this country will do. You will have the, an awesome power to take away someone's freedom and the responsibility that goes with that. You will touch lives in ways you may see and in ways you may never know about. You will make a difference. You are joining an agency that has an outstanding reputation. That reputation is earned every day. The Wheat Ridge Police Department is a leader in policing in every way, and you will quickly come to see that. Wheat Ridge is not a place to work if you do not like to work. We are busy. Our border with Denver, our place in this 
boomtown moment in Colorado and our ease of access to major highways and every other route that transverses this area mean that we have a diverse and challenging environment. You will be challenged every day and you will rise up to that challenge. You will be the police department that the rest of the country wishes they had. You will make everyone who is here with you today proud, but more importantly, you will make yourself proud. We have the talent and the leadership to make sure that your career is better than you could have ever imagined. In these tough moments in policing, it is difficult to express how important your role will be. You must know that this job will have good days and bad days. What carries me through the bad days is the knowledge that if we were not relevant, if we were not, if we were inconsequential, if we were not the guardians of society and our constitution, nobody would ever call. Nobody would care. We would never have the type of community engagement that we get on a daily basis. We have a great community. And we have great community support. And you need to know that. I offer a few words of advice. Remember that you have joined the profession. The profession did not join you. In those words, I want you to understand that, that what that means is you have undertaken a selfless service. You put the agency first. You have agreed to live a better life while in uniform and while off duty. You have agreed to be a person of action and not a person who sits on the sidelines. You have agreed to have your life scrutinized in ways that may not seem fair. While that may sound daunting to you, you will find it's actually easy because we selected each of you knowing that you were already living that life. Also know that this job, also know that the job you do is important and it is the greatest job in the world. You will laugh, you will be challenged, you will see and do courageous things, and you will sometimes go home and wonder how the world can be so cruel. Yet no, this is still the greatest job, and you now have a seat at the table. Good luck in field training, and I wish each and every one of you a long and consequential career. With that, I will ask the officers to stand up front. Go ahead and take your spots up front, please. Jamie, Jeremy, Daniel, Lance, and Lee, as you socially distance on stage, I'll ask you to remove those masks so we can see your face. You will now become Officer Bala, Officer Bauf, Officer Nira, Officer Gortmaker, and Officer Kern. Those will be your new identities, at least to the citizens who meet you every day. Now let's go ahead and swear you in. Raise your right hand. I invite any officer in this room who wishes to reaffirm their oath of office to join along and mouth these words as you sit in your seats or stand in the back. I state your name to solemnly swear upon my honor that I will never betray my badge, my integrity, my character, or the public's trust. I will always strive to have the courage to hold others and myself accountable for our actions. I will uphold the constitutions and laws of the United States of America. And the state of Colorado and the charter and ordinances of the city of Wheat Ridge. I will strive to be responsive to all citizens of the city. and will faithfully perform the duties of police officer to the best of my skill and ability. I present to you now our newest police officers. (laughs) 
It's our time-honored tradition to allow friends or family members to pin the badge on the officers. Today is that day. I'm going to ask the, that we only have one officer up here at a time, so I'm going to ask everybody but Jamie, Officer Bala, I'm going to ask you to remain and the rest to have a seat while we do that. You can leave your mask off if you trust your family. <laughs> Jamie, who do you have here with you today? Welcome. It's never as easy as it looks on the on the news, right? You can get it as close as you can and we'll, we'll let Jamie adjust it when she sits down. Thank you. Thank you for being here today. Officer Bala, go ahead and please have a seat. Uh, Officer Bala, who do you have with you today? Welcome. Somebody needs to take a report on that. Officer please have a seat. Officer Nira, am I saying that correctly? We've had a lot of... Nira or... Nera, which one do you prefer? Nera? Okay. Who do you have with you today? Welcome. Please stand between the flags so we get a great picture of you. It sure seems to be. We should have loosened those badges up or practiced one or the other. Remember, if the badge doesn't go on, it doesn't, he doesn't get to be an officer. So. Congratulations. Officer Gortmaker, who do you have with you today? Welcome. Welcome, everyone.
Congratulations. <laughs> Officer Kern, who do you have with you today? My girlfriend, Jody. Welcome. Congratulations. Well, I'm going to ask them one more time to stand up so we can give them all a big round of applause and a welcome to the Wheat Ridge Police Department. In closing, I'd just like to say thank you for those of you who were able to make time out of your day to come, for those of you who might be able to view this on, on YouTube Live, and for the folks who made this possible, our uh, press information officer, Sarah Spaulding, and some of the others who are involved in this. Uh, as you see, our command staff down here today understand that we value each and every one of you. We'll work hard to make sure you're successful. And from now on, it's going to be incumbent upon you to make sure that you're successful as well. You have the training, you have the knowledge, you have the ability, and you have our backing. God bless each and every one of you. I look forward to seeing you out on the street. We need you each and every day. We're going to have pictures after this. Um, you're welcome to stay. Uh, for the officers in the room who came, I appreciate it. You know how pictures go. It might take a while for us to organize them, so don't feel obligated. But thank you, everybody, for being here today. Thank you. Sarah will organize our pictures. <laughs>